What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be discussing Juice World's The Party Never Ends and we're going to go over my official tracklist prediction for the album. But before we do that, make sure to check out my second channel, Complex2. A link to that channel will be in the description down below. I also want to shout out to my Instagram, Complex Productions 999 and my Twitter at Complex Discuss. Make sure to follow those, but with all that being said, let's just dive on into this video. Alright, now keep in mind that this prediction or this tracklist prediction is going to be just what I would like to see on the album and stuff that I think we might likely see on here. So, with all this being said, we're just going to dive on into this and we're going to start with the fact that I think The Party Never Ends should be an entirely hype only album. I don't think that they should do the half sad, half love, half hype thing. I don't think we need really any of that. I think that if we're going to get anything that's not hype on this album, I hope it's the newer 2019 love songs not sad songs because we've obviously seen that juice has released plenty of sad music when he was alive and they have obviously not held back really releasing anything like that since he's passed away either and that's the main reason why i'm saying that this album should only consist of hype songs juice has enough hype songs leaked and unleaked to make an entire album that could be really good and i think that if it's executed well and that it's handled well the rollout's done well that this could honestly be everyone's favorite posthumous release so far it looks like it would be geared up to be almost everyone's just because we all enjoy these hyper songs especially if there is a few other things on here like love songs or something obviously that wouldn't be my ideal party never ends album but i wouldn't complain either just because those would be newer tracks that at least we're getting to hear but as for actual songs that i want to see on this album i think that there's five tracks that have a good chance of ending up on the party never ends and i'm gonna start with the first one being biscotti i feel like this is honestly just one of the bigger snippets that's being pushed in the community right now. So whether it ends up getting onto the Party Never Ends or leaking, I really feel like we're going to get this song eventually or soon at least. And then moving over to Condone It, Bibby obviously previewed this song not that long ago on his Instagram story. I tried to find a video of it so I could put it in here, but I wasn't able to find that clip. But we obviously know that Bibby played this. So I think this obviously has a chance to end up on the Party Never Ends. And then there's also Rental, obviously, one of Juice's bigger songs produced by season well this obviously could end up on the party never ends because it not only fits the whole theme and vibe that i think the party never ends should kind of be like but we've also kind of seen them hint towards releasing this song they're at least teasing stuff about it because if you guys don't know in that animated cigarettes music video that just dropped juice is actually wearing the same fit in that video that he is in the rental snippet so this is just kind of a little theory that some people in the community had going that maybe we will see rental release and i think that if they can get the beat clear and everything's good with it that we will get rental released at least that's what i think and then another song that obviously has a potential to release on this album is gopro i think that this is almost a no-brainer just because bibby literally said that this song sounds like the party and Bibby's tweeted out lyrics about it and everything they were obviously mad when the song did leak and then the last track that i think kind of just has a little bit of a chance to be on here is i wonder obviously this is another one of those condone it situations where bibby just previewed it a couple times on live but it's obviously a song that bibby must like and i think it could end up on the party never ends Alright, now those five tracks are tracks that I think we possibly have a chance of seeing on here or like a more likely chance of seeing on The Party Never Ends, but everything else from now on is just what I would personally want to see. Now, I would like to see something like Iron On Me, Rax, end up on The Party Never Ends, something like No Coaster, not the one with Polo, obviously, just the original one because there's really no point for Polo to be on the song when it was a completed Juice track. I also think that KTM Drip would fit perfectly, Take My Soul would which is that Rage song that Daniel previewed I think could fit on the album really well. And then if we are going to get love songs on this album, some of the songs that I would like to see on here would be stuff like Forget Me Not, Left For Dead. I just think that these songs might fit a little bit better onto the project. They're newer 2019 songs or even something like Gone or Swear. If those are finished, at least they're newer loved songs that we don't really have many snips to. They're not leaked, obviously. So it would be something that's kind of a win-win for everyone because the songs still sound really good and honestly it would just be a new listen for everyone but moving over i also think that oxy in the dark should end up on this album this is obviously a song that bibby previewed back when we were originally in the party never ends rollout in summer of 2021 and it was one of my favorite snippets that he played it still is a really good snippet i think and i would love to see it end up on the album <laughs> 
Another song that I think that they should release on The Party Never Ends and that could do really well is Want To with Cardi. This song is fire, and honestly, I just don't see a reason why it wouldn't release unless Cardi or his team or label or whatever didn't want to clear it. also think that Chrome and Contained, both of those tracks would fit really well onto The Party Never Ends. They're both more hype songs that kind of just show more versatility in Juice's style, his voice, everything. And then a couple other songs that I think could do really well if they were released as something like Kiki. Obviously, this was a big community grail. Murder Rate is obviously a really good 2019 track. They, they would probably end up putting a feature on or someone. And then lastly, I think Oh Dear would be a great track to put onto The Party Never Ends. I think that Oh Dear just has a good hype and good feeling about it that it would fit onto what I think they should try and do with The Party Never Ends. But that is going to be all for this video, guys. Those are tracks that I think we will most likely see on the party never ends and they're also tracks that i would like to see on here let me know though if there's any other things that you guys want to see obviously i know a lot of the tracks i talked about are leaks but that's honestly for good reason all these songs are super good they deserve to be released and i mean obviously i would love to get more on herds than leaks but i'm not going to sit here and complain about us getting a lot of leaks i just hope that if we are going to get leaks released that they're good ones that we can all enjoy but with all this being said guys thank you for watching please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, why you doing so?